Hey everybody, welcome back to Royal Tarot Readings. This is my fun channel that I do for tarot readings on the royal family. All information presented in this video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. It's fun, it's tarot. I'm just a gal with cards. Alright, so today, here let me get these tumblers out of the way, I had them for my last video. This is video number two for today. And um, today I would like to take a look at the dynamics between Prince William and Prince Harry and this idea that Prince Harry is trying to set himself up to be regent to Prince William's children should anything happen to Prince William. So, let's take a look at this. As it goes down there, there we go. Okay. Um, so today I'm going to use the um, Ethereal Visions Tarot deck, the Illuminated Tarot deck, just because we're going into some like um, mystical stuff here, I think. Um, I don't know why I'm drawn to this deck today, but I think this, this is the one that was calling to me, so that's the one we're going to go with. Ethereal Visions. Okay. So, or Rethral Visions, I think it's pronounced. All right, so I'm going to do a different type of a spread today. I did this once before, um, and it was it worked out really well, so I'm going to try this again. All right, so this particular spread is I'm going to put five cards out for some questions, and I'll put Prince William on the left and Prince Harry on the right, and we're going to see how these questions affect the both of them. All right, so questions for today. What is the feeling between these two men, we'll call them? What is the feeling between these two men? Oh my goodness, these cards are ready to go. Heavens. All right, so what is the feeling between Prince Harry and Prince William? And is Prince William worried about Prince Harry trying to become regent for his children? Is he worried about this? Is he worried that's what Prince Harry is trying to do? Oh my goodness. And um, is Prince Harry trying to set himself up so that he will become regent for Prince William's children, should anything happen to Prince William. Is that is that what Prince Harry is trying to do? And then for Prince William, what are the obstacles that are in his way right now? And related to, relating to Prince Harry, if he is worried about Prince Harry trying to be regent, what are the obstacles that are in Prince William's way? And then on Prince Harry's side, what are the obstacles for Prince Harry? And if he's trying to set himself up to become regent to, for Prince William's children, what are the obstacles in Prince Harry's way? All right. <clears throat> That's going to be, you know, I'm going to add a sixth question on here. So what's going to be the outcome? What's going to be the outcome of this, of this dynamic between these two? What's going to be the outcome? Who's going to, who's going to? Who's going to triumph? I'll put it that way. Who's going to triumph? Okay. Alright, we're going to go with this. Alright, here we go. Do our cut. Double cut. Interesting. Alright, so we're going to lay out these six cards. I threw a six question in there so I could find out what the outcome would be. Oh dear, these cards are so big too. I hope I can get this all in here. Alright. We've got Prince William on the left and Terry on the right. Trying to make sure you guys can see all these cards. All right, and we're gonna have to do, we're doing six questions, so we're gonna do six cards. There we go. And our underlying energy is ooh, Ace of Wands in reverse. The Hanged Man. Should I take the next card, Queen of Swords? I think I'll have to. Okay. All right, so this is our underlying energy. All right, so the Ace of Wands, um, upright, it's about a new idea, the birth of a new idea, um, the new idea that's going to be, have potential and grow. And in reverse, this idea is not going to bear fruit. It's, not, it's, it's uh, dead before it starts. And then um, the hanged man in reverse. Upright, it's about kind of being stuck, not sure what to do. And in reverse, it's about you've been stuck and now it is time to move forward. Even though you don't want to, it's time to release yourself from this, this feeling of being stuck and to move forward. And the queen of swords is very strong feminine energy. This could represent, it used to represent um, Queen Elizabeth. So this is a very strong queen here. 
we're going to see who this represents just by based on the what kind of cards we get. All right, so that's our underlying energy. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a tough reading. I can feel it. <laughs> okay, what's the feeling between Prince Harry and Prince William? Oh my God. The Ten of Swords in reverse. It's betrayal. You see the Ten of Swords there? Making sure you guys can see this. <sighs> betrayal. They have feel the feeling of betrayal is equal between the two of them. They feel very betrayed. Both of them do. And with the underlying energy, the feeling of betrayal is because ideas are being stopped. Every, uh, this idea of being that you're ready to move forward keeps getting cut down and the Queen of Swords feels betrayed oh wow I'm going to say that this is Megan Queen of Swords feels very betrayed okay alright so on Prince William's side why does he feel betrayed What's the betrayal for him? Oh, the crown. Harry's betrayed the crown. Harry's betrayed the the um the crown. He's it stabbed stabbed the crown in the back. What about Harry? What does he feel betrayed about? From William. Strength in reverse. He feels like William's not being strong for him. Like William doesn't back him up. He doesn't he doesn't have his back. Okay. We have to look at the underlying energy between these two here. So the Hierophant. Um, William feels like Harry's betrayed the crown. We've seen that before in other readings. And it's because Megan's there. And she makes him do things he doesn't want to do. And every new idea that comes out is just worse than the last. Oh my goodness. That's how William feels. Harry feels like he's not. William's not backing him up. He's not backing up Megan. Every time William comes up or Harry comes up with a new idea, and feels like he can move forward, um, William doesn't support him, and all his ideas get knocked down. All right. Okay. Whoops. I put this up here. Did not yet. Yeah, this should go here. All right. So that's uh, it's Harry's side and it's William's side. All right. All right, what is, um, okay, is Prince William worried about Prince Harry trying to become regent to his children? Nine of Wands, he's put up a barrier. He's put up a barrier. He's fighting. He's taking the fight to the end. Yeah, he is worried about it. He's a little battered and bruised, but he's put up a barrier to make sure this does not happen. Ooh, I just got goosebumps. Because he is fighting against Megan. He's fighting against every new idea and new thought that Harry comes up with. And he's trying to bat them all down. Every idea that Harry comes up with to become regent, William is fighting against. And he's put up a barrier. Okay. Now, Prince William is worried that Harry's trying to become regent. So what is the underlying thought for Prince William on this? He's so disappointed with Harry. He feels so much disappointment, almost regret that it has turned out this way. And he's wondering, what could I have done that could have made this different? What could I have done to, almost like, is it my fault? Did Is Harry the way he is because of me? And I don't know what to do to make it better. Doesn't see the castle in the background. Doesn't see the two cups behind him that are that are still upright, just the three that are spilled. So William feels like I shouldn't have to do this. I'm so I'm so disappointed in Harry that I even have to do this to begin with. And it's it has to do with Megan. It has to do that Harry's every thought that Harry comes up with is just a detriment for William. And from Harry's side, what's so the question is, is Prince William worried about Harry become regent? So what does Harry think about uh, William's worry? Oh, God. 
The devil. He doesn't care. He's like, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And I, and he doesn't have good intentions. Oh my God. He doesn't have good intentions. And he's backed by Megan. He's like, it's time to move. And he's trying everything that he can to make it happen. Oh my goodness. All right, devil swear jar. Let's see if I have any. <laughs> I have to add to the devil swear jar, so hang on one second. All right. All right, I had my dollar. Here we go. We're going to put in the devil swear jar. There we go. All these dollars that I put in the devil swear jar will be donated at the end of June, and you can help vote on where that's going to go. So, all right. Um, okay. Next card is about um and you know I forgot to put a card out for that I just asked what was the outcome okay so for Prince Harry is he is it is it his ambition to try to become regent to William's children knock on wood anything ever happened to William oh the well I forgot this is a deck that has an extra card this is this is his wish. This is a deep, deep wish of his. Drawing from his well of his very soul. That Oh, he wants it so badly. Absolutely, that's what he's trying to do. And it's completely with Megan's approval. And he's already decided to move forward with it. But the everything he's tried so far has failed. But that is absolutely his deepest wish is to become regent for William's children. And how does William feel about this? How does William feel about this? Ten of Pentacles. You're after the line of succession. He's like, you are after the line of succession. Oh, my goodness. And you're after the crown wealth. Oh, my goodness. And he, it's something that he's worried that Megan's going to get her hands on it. They've already started action on it. And but everything they've tried so far has failed. Oh my goodness. And what's Harry's thought on this? On his ambition to become regent for William's children. The Four of Wands. I'm gonna make it such a happy home. I'll be so happy. I'll be so happy when I get this to happen. And Megan will be happy and she'll love me again. And I've already started work on it. I haven't found the way to do it yet, but I'm going to be so happy when that happens. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. Yikes. All right. For Prince William, what is the biggest obstacle for him in his quest to stop Harry from becoming regent to his children? What's his big biggest obstacle? The Two of Pentacles in reverse. There's some decision that has to be made first. Having to do with... I want to say the line of succession. Something to do... Some document. Something, some, something that has to happen first. Perhaps it's removing the titles. Something has to happen first before William can make sure that Harry is never regent to his children. And the decision involves it. It's going to affect Megan, and it's going to affect any anything that Harry's already started to do. And and his the thing that's helped him is that nothing's worked so far for Harry. So William's biggest obstacle is there is decision that's been made, and the the fruit of that has to be borne out first. Oh wow! All right. And how does William feel about his obstacle? The sun in reverse. He's trying to keep it hidden. He's trying to keep this decision hidden and out of the light. He doesn't want it to be to come out yet. But this, this decision is what is the obstacle for him. He doesn't want to let that known. He's trying to keep that information away from, from everyone. He, especially trying to keep it away from Megan. 
trying to prevent whatever plan is already in place and the fact that nothing's worked so far is probably because he has kept it hidden what his plans are oh wow all right and for Harry what does Harry what is Harry thinking about um, Prince William's obstacle the Knight of Pentacles he feels like he's gonna he's gonna come out with the money he's going to find he, he's gonna find he thinks he's gonna find a way to get around it because he is the son of the monarch and that's his birthright he's thinking that's my birthright you can't stop me oh wow Oh, crap. Wow. And I've got the support. I've got the support of, of my wife. And we've already got an idea that we are, we've put ideas in place already. And the fact that it hasn't worked out so far, it, it, it's okay because it's my birthright. Oh, wow. Oops. That one there. Yeah, we had that one out there too. Okay. All right. Oh, my goodness. All right, and what's Prince Harry's biggest obstacle in his dream to become regent to Prince William's children? What's his biggest obstacle? The Three of Wands in reverse. He's being watched. This is about watching from afar. This is about watching from afar in secret. He's being secretly watched and listened to. And so is Megan. And their idea, they already know about their idea. And they know every plan has failed because they've been watching. Oh, wow. Yikes. I hope I'm not, like, spilling any beans here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's Harry's biggest obstacle is that he's being watched and listened to. Oh, my goodness. And how does William feel about that? How does William feel about that? The star in reverse. So the star upright is about hopes and, and wishes and, and faith. And in reverse, it's about a, um, a loss of faith, a loss of hope. So he's feeling like he's, hope, he's, he's worried that this won't help them. He's worried about what they don't know. He's worried about what they don't know. He's worried about what they don't know about any plans having to do with Megan, this plan they have in, in effect right now, and all the all the ideas have been batted down, but he's worried about the one that he doesn't know about, so he's worried there's a plan out there he doesn't know about. All right, fair enough. What don't I know? That's, that's just, that's his biggest fear right there. And then what does Harry feel about the fact that... Um, his biggest obstacle is that he's probably being watched. Does he know that? Does he feel that? Ooh, that is Harry and Hermit in reverse. He's not even aware of it. <sighs> so upright, this is about being withdrawn. And then in reverse, it's about being withdrawn and trying to find a way to um, do some self-introspection. He's trying to figure out how they're watching him. How are they watching him? How are they listening to him? He doesn't know how they're doing it, but he knows it's going on. So he's aware of it, and Megan's aware of it, and they've, they've gone forward with their idea, and they know that things they've tried before haven't worked. Oh, wow. And what's going to be the outcome? What's going to be the final outcome for Prince William? Temperance. Oh, that's such a good card. That's it. That's angelic energy. If it were in reverse, it'd be just like the devil. But William is going to come out on top in the end. The, things will be balanced. They will be even. They will be as they're supposed to be in destiny. And it doesn't matter what Megan does. It doesn't matter what their plan is. It doesn't matter how many ideas they come up with. William's going to come out just fine at the end. He's got... He's being watched over by the universe. 
and they'll make sure that everything is balanced as it's supposed to be. What about for Harry? What's the outcome for Harry on this? The lovers in reverse. Divorce. Loss of relationship. Loss of relationship probably with his family, but this is specifically about a, 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 a couple. A couple involved with each other. What's going to be the outcome? They're going to get divorced. He's going to lose his relationship with Megan, and it's actually, it's already started. And every idea they come up with to prevent it will not come, well, he's going to try to prevent it from happening, but it, it's going to happen. I mean, it's, that's, that's his, that's going to be the outcome. He's going to get divorced. Oh my goodness. Well, that was very straightforward. That was a little clearer than I expected it to be. I thought when I first laid the card down, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to be a hard reading. But it actually came out uh, more straightforward than I expected. Wow. All right, let's do a quick wrap up here. Um, so um, what's the feeling between the two boys? They each feel like they betrayed the other. And how does what does William think was betrayed? The crown. The crown was betrayed. And what does Harry think was betrayed? You're trying to undercut my strength. You're you're betraying me and my strength and my wife's strength. You're betraying you're betraying how strong we are. You're not you're not backing us up. You're not you don't have our back. And then um, is Prince William worried about Prince Harry trying to be regent? Yeah, he absolutely is, and he's put up barriers. He's put up some kind of block to prevent that from happening. And how does William feel about that? He's so upset and regretful that he even has to do this, but he's done it. And he's wondering, could I have done something to, to prevent this from this whole outcome? But he's just feeling emotional because that's just the type of person that he is. And what's Harry's feeling about it? He just he, he's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna it's gonna happen no matter what. He has no good intentions, and he's gonna do everything in his power and everything in the devil's power to get what he wants. And then is Prince Harry trying to become regent? Sure is. It's his deepest wish. The well, that's that's the wishing well. That's his deepest wish. And what does um, Harry, uh, uh, William feel about it? He's like, you're after the line of succession. You're trying to change the line of succession. And Harry is like, yeah, I'm trying to make a happy home. I'm trying to make everybody happy. It'll make our home happy if I can make this happen. And then for um, Prince William, um, what's his biggest obstacle? His biggest obstacle, oof is that there's some decision that has, that's been made that has to carry out first. And it has to do with, like, not the line of succession, but, but um, I would say a, the birthright. Um, it, it, that's what it has to do with. It has to do with probably with removing the titles or in some way taking Harry out of the council of state, whatever it is, something, some removal of titles or some prestige has to happen. And had his... Um, how does William feel about that? He's trying to keep that under wraps so they don't know that that's what has to happen in order for Harry to be removed as regent. And then um, how does Harry feel about it? And he's, it's like, it's my birthright. You can't stop me. And then what is um, Harry's biggest obstacle? His biggest obstacle is that he's being watched and listened. He's being watched and his um, communications are being watched. And then um, how does William feel about that? Oops. Oh, yes, yeah, right. The star. Um, he's he is worried about what he doesn't know, what's been kept uh, hidden. So he's he's worried about that. He's like, I, I'm just worried about what I I don't have covered. He's worried he's left something uncovered. That something's not. He hasn't thought of something. And then what's Harry's thought about it? He's trying to figure out how they're watching him, how they're listening to him. And then what's going to be the outcome? William, it will all be balanced in the end. William will come out on top. Because that's what the universe is going to do for him. And what's going to be the outcome for Harry? He's going to, he's going to lose his relationship. He's going to lose his marriage. He's going to lose his family. He's going to get divorced. Very, very interesting. All right, I hope you guys found that interesting. I sure did. That was, a, that was fascinating. Um, and I hope that you, um, you hope you enjoyed this. If you're a subscriber, why, thank you so much. If you're not, what the heck are you waiting for? Look at this great reading. And you watched it to the very end because here you are listening to me. 
go ahead and subscribe. Click that button. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you won't miss another reading. Thank you so much, guys. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day, too, and we will see you soon on the next reading of Royal Tarot Readings. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.